Today I'm going to show you uh, how to install residential window film on your home window and talk about the tools needed and the benefits for the job. Um, I'll start by showing you the tools. This is a Olfa knife, razor blade knife you'll need to cut the film with. A window cleaning squeegee. Uh, Triumph scraper. This is a scraper, uh, six inch, uh, with a handle. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can buy one, or just use a one inch box blade. But it'd take quite a bit longer. I'd recommend a wider scraper. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon or at Lowe's or any hardware store. Um, a tape measure, a roll of paper towels, uh, a hard card. This one's the one that we like the best. This works really good. Um, you can use a smaller one if you already have one around your house, but I'd recommend buying one of these. Um, and a spray bottle, 75% <clears throat> full of distilled water, 25% uh, full of Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Um, I would recommend you don't put auto tint on your home windows, it'll crack them. The heat builds up between the panes uh, and can crack the glass. So uh, no auto film on your home. Um, I'd recommend a silver uh, commercial residential grade window film. Uh, the metals that they sputter into the film when they manufacture it um, reflect heat out of the home. Um, a lot of other films are going to cut 20-30% of the heat or if you put a lighter neutral film on there, or auto film if, even if it was lighter. Um, the heat reduction is going to be half or a third of what this will do. Uh, this film is going to cut 99% of the UV rays, a silver reflective film. And generally what you buy in a silver reflective film in a 35% is what I would recommend that's safe on most homes. Um, is going to cut 60 to 70% of the heat and 60 to 70% of the solar energy. Um, and about 50 to 65% of the glare. So going to help you out quite a bit on heating and cooling. It'll give you a little privacy from the outside. From the inside of the home, you'll see right through it. Um, and most of these films uh, last 10 to 20 years. So um, I, what you want to start uh, by doing is first cleaning the window. So just spray it wet. Grab your Triumph scraper. I always work from top to bottom. Always put the cap back on the scraper. Go ahead and spray the window wet again. Grab a blue paper towel and your window cleaning squeegee. Take the paper towel and wipe around the edge. Take the squeegee. Make sure it's clean. I like to go up one side, across, and down. Wet the squeegee. Find another clean spot on the towel. Rotate it. Every wipe 
you're, you're doing that to remove the grit and dirt, so rotate to a clean spot on the towel. Make sure your squeegee's clean before you put it on the window. That's a good sound, that means your window's getting clean. And then I go ahead and just wipe along that bottom edge there and the window sill. The cleaner that it is around where you're putting the film, the better the end product. So the next thing I'm going to do is measure the window. It's 32 and a quarter. by 74 and a quarter. So I'm going to say 33 by 75. Okay. I'm going to come over to my 60 inch roll of film. I'm going to measure over 33 inches. So I'm cutting a little bigger than the window. I'm going to make a mark in the film here. Just cut the film right at 33. The window is 32 and a quarter. I'm just going to go to 33. I'm going to take my knife put it in the box. And then I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to round up and go to 73 or 74. Put that on the floor next to the box. And then I'll just slowly pull that out and it'll split the roll. Okay. Grab the knife out of there. Cut along the top. Always retract your blade. Okay, and then I like to roll that back up on the roll. I'll save that piece. Um, now you've got your pattern. And go ahead and just roll that up. It'll be easier. The silver films cut a lot of heat. To look at them, they look kind of silver. When they're on the window with the liner removed, you see through them. They actually look pretty clear, and um, you'll see when we apply it and pull the liner off, it doesn't look near the silver on the window. It's a one-way film. Right. Next thing you want to do is spray the window wet with the same solution you cleaned it with, which is 75% water, 25% baby shampoo, and use quite a bit of this. Um, you don't want to leave any dry areas. Okay. The next step is you'll find a friend and family member somewhere around the house to just peel the liner. Okay, and we'll show you how to do that now. Okay. So you just go ahead and go up here. You just drop that down. Okay, that in a second. So what I've done there, here in the corner, to separate the liner from the film, um, you can put a piece of tape on each side on, and then pull the two pieces of tape apart and separate it. Or for me, it's easy. I just, uh, you know, just put it between my teeth, separate it, and peel the liner. But you need to peel the clear liner off. I'm going to go ahead and grab the water there. Now spray the adhesive side of the film while removing the liner. side that you remove the liner from that's wet, apply it to the window, and line up 
your right hand side, which is your factory edge from the roll of film, down one side. I like to use one, what I call the factory edge, down one side. <clears throat> You want to leave a small gap about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. I've got a small gap on the right hand side. You take the water and soap. Take your block squeegee. If you don't have a block squeegee, you can actually squeegee the film with your window cleaning squeegee and then hard card it. Uh, it's a lot more work, it doesn't push as much moisture, and I highly recommend buy, buying a block squeegee. Um, so a window cleaning squeegee will work if you can't find one of these. Hold the film in place so it doesn't move. You're going to do a T pattern. So you come across the top like that. Make sure the film's not moving as you're squeegeeing. Check your edge and reposition it if it does. You're going to come through the middle. All the way to the bottom. You stop about an inch shy of the bottom. If you push it all the way to the bottom, you'll touch the, the edge. If there's a little bit of dust, the water will suck it back up. So that looks like a T. That's a T pattern. That's going to allow you to equally disperse the slack as you're block squeegeeing it out so that you don't torque the film and create wrinkles in it. Now I like to start in the middle. I like to work from the center out. That helps equally disperse the stretch. It doesn't stretch much, but on the side that the factory edge is on, it's already cut, you can squeegee all the way to the edge. On the side you haven't cut yet, you want to stop just shy of the edge. a large window like this one in the sun. Uh, sometimes by the time you get done you'll need to respray. That gives slip to the squeegee. If it dries out, the squeegee won't slide across the film. So I've resprayed for that reason. Once you've block squeegeed the moisture from out behind the film, and you don't need to get it all. Um, if you leave little pieces, that's okay. I'll show you in a minute why. But get 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 90% of it, get the most of it that you can out from behind it. Grab a new paper towel, take your hard card, wrap it around your hard card, make sure this edge doesn't have wrinkles in it. Just make sure that it's tight. You're holding it in your hand there and your thumb, and just keep a nice edge there. Okay. Set that there. Take your Olfa knife. You just want to poke out a little bit of blade, about a quarter of an inch. Hold the film to the window, and you just run your knife across the top. Go ahead and grab that, tear it off. You've got your top edge cut. In this case, I'm on the ladder, so I'm going to cut down there just a little bit. I'll let that hang. I'm always retracting my blade after the cut. I'll put the blade back out. Finish the cut along the bottom. Pull that out. Grab your hard card and towel, and go up through the middle. Each time you get to the edge, stop. You can see the water, 
on the edge it has soaked up. And when you get to the edge, you may grab a grain of sand or a little bit of contamination. If you bring that out onto the film and card, you could scratch it. So it's maybe one or two hard cards like this, and then rotate your towel just a little bit. Keep a clean towel and a straight edge. I like to start with the top edge. The reason why is because the moisture flows downhill um, based on gravity, and I don't like the dirty water to run behind the film, so I like to just handle that first. Start from the middle, overlap your pattern, so don't move down the whole length of the card, just move down a few inches at a time. That'll help make sure that you don't miss any of the moisture. When you come to the center, come back a ways. And overlap from the center as well. Go into each side. Okay. That was a factory edge straight off the edge of the roll of film. Occasionally on a window in a house, it, it may just vary a little and you may have to trim off a little bit of film if you get it real close to the edge. If you leave a little bigger gap, you would have that issue. But if you do, go ahead and just trim that little piece out. Rotate your towel. Take your towel, down through the middle, stop, rotate the towel, Wipe along the bottom edge when you're done. Get the water out of the bottom of the windowsill so the film doesn't suck any of the dirty water up behind it as it dries, cures. You're going to have a little water, you can see there, left in your windowsill when you're done. Grab the extra paper towel. You don't want to leave that there, it will rot your wood and windowsill and such, so get it off of there. Um, clean that up. When you're done tinting the window for about a week or two, generally you'll see haze and condensation. It's very minimal, but you'll see a little bit of haziness and a little bit of moisture as the film sweats out. That's normal. If you see that later that day or the next day, don't think you did it wrong. Most likely you didn't if you follow these steps. Um, I wouldn't clean the window um, right away. I'd let it cure and give it a week and then come back and clean it. Um, when you clean it, you want to clean it with an ammonia-free glass cleaner, spray away or Windex. Uh, make sure it says ammonia free um, and a soft paper towel or terry cloth to clean the windows. Um, and uh, that's about it. Please uh, like our YouTube video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.